Hey everyone. I uh, wanted to do a live on here to talk about um, kind of what our experience is um, and where we are at in this journey. And so um, I know that I told everybody I would give them an update. And so um, I'm just going to kind of quickly catch you up to speed as to where we are at. So um, as most of you probably know, and maybe some of you don't, um, we had a miscarriage uh, back in July of last year. And it was very traumatic, um, almost took my life. And um, I'm not going to go into all that details again, just because it's a lot. But that'll kind of catch you up to why we're here where we are now. Um, so all that being said, um, it ruptured my tube, one of the two that women have in their bodies. So I'm sorry, men, if you're listening, um, may not want to watch this, but it took one of them and I was left with one left. And so, um, throughout that process of healing, you are supposed to wait, you know, three months before, um, you know, you try to have a baby again and all that stuff. We waited, uh, followed all the doctor's orders and recommendations, and then um, started trying again. And I was on heavy medication uh, that should have just worked. I mean, in other doctors' opinions, it, it should have it should have worked, but it didn't. And so we don't know why that is. Um, and that's kind of brought us to where we're at now. So um, this week. I was referred to an IVF doctor, which if you don't know what that is, I will spare you the details and you can just go Google for yourself. But um, let me just tell you, it is it is the option that we are left with. And so we went for the first time this week to those doctors. Um, I have... I have never been to one, and so today was really interesting to kind of look in the room and see all the couples that were together. Um, it was the first time I didn't feel alone. I didn't feel alone for the first time. And my heart went out to all the other couples in that room who were facing the same things that we were. Um, there's really no answers for infertility sometimes for people who are dealing with infertility, sometimes everything can be fine with you and you can still be dealing with it. Um, and it's a tough road to walk because it's just hard to understand if I'm completely honest. Um, especially when you can watch all these other people who are just having babies <laughs> left and right. And then it starts messing with your head because, you know, you're getting older and you know that, you know, time is running out. And so there's this time clock that turns into pressure, not just on yourself, but even from doctors um, who are saying we have to do this now to have good chances. And so, um, you know, it's just, it is the, it is the way that God um, has directed our paths. And so that's where we're at. Um, yesterday we did blood work today. Uh, we went, there was ultrasounds. Um, everything looked great today. So there was really good news. I was very excited because, um, you know, you don't know what they're going to find. These are different types of scans that I've never had done before. Um, more in depth than what you would get at just like a regular OB. And so today was really good news. And I was thankful for that. We were both very thankful for that. Um, tomorrow I do what is called an HSG and, um, not too excited about it. In fact, had a little bit of anxiety about it. Um, again, I'm not going to go into what that is. I just know that it can be very painful. And so, um, but I'm willing to do it. I mean, I, I am, I am ready, you know, I'm ready, I'm ready to go down this path. Um, once we do the HSG, we'll have more answers as to um, what we do next. And so most likely what's going to happen is that um, we will start our IVF journey in hopefully, as long as everything looks good tomorrow, hopefully we will start it in January. Um, that's what the doctors have told me. That's what they uh, would prefer to happen. That's what I would prefer to happen. 
And um, I have so many friends and people that I know that have um, done this and they have helped me. They have kind of uh, walked me through what this is about to look like. I, I know that it's um, it's an emotional roller coaster. It doesn't mean that it's going to work the first time. It is very, very expensive. Um, we're not even sure yet how we're going to pay for it, if I'm going to be completely. Hello, my fellow Christians. I'm glad that you are watching HMTV. And for the new person here, please make it a point to subscribe. And I will be glad. So breaking and sad news coming onto my desk. Three members of the Nelons Gospel Group have passed away in a plane crush on their way to perform for their beloved fans. Their death was announced and confirmed by their management. Jason Clark, Kelly Nellen Clark, and their daughter Amber Kistler died on Friday, 26th of July, 2024. Crash happened at about 1 p.m. north of the town of Gillette and sparked a wildfire. On Instagram, Gaither Management Group wrote, one of the best love gospel music families in America. The Nellens were involved in a tragic, fatal plane crash on Friday afternoon on their way to join the Gaither homecoming cruise to Alaska. Killed in the crash were Jason and Kelly Nellen Clark, Amber and Nathan Kistler, and their assistant, Melody Hodges, pilot Larry Haney, and his wife, Melissa. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the accident. The youngest daughter of the Clarks, Autumn Nellen Streetman, was not on the plane and said, As many of you have heard by now, my father and mother, Jason and Kelly Nellen Clark, along with my sister Amber and brother-in-law Nathan, as well as our dear friends, Melody Hodges, Larry and Melissa Haney, were involved in a tragic plane crash on Friday. Thank you for the prayers that have been extended already to me, my husband, Jamie, and our soon-to-be-born baby boy, as well as Jason's parents, Dan and Linda Clark. We appreciate your continued prayers, love, and support as we navigate the coming days. According to Gaither Management Group, she was told of the crash in Seattle and brought to the hotel where artists were gathered with Bill and Gloria Gaither to pray, sing, and embrace them in their grief, them in whatever needs arise. The Gaithers are gospel singers, and their music-themed Alaska cruise was to sail from Seattle on Saturday before cruising through Puget Sound. Autumn and Jamie will return home for now to Kelly's brother, Todd Nellen, and his wife, Rhonda, to begin the hard tasks that lie ahead. Please keep them, the Kistler family, the Haney family, and the family of Melody Hodges in your prayer. The statement also said, Hans, part of the Gaither Homecoming concert series, was started by Kelly's father, Rex Nillon, also known for the Lefebvre, in the 1970s. It was inducted into the Gospel Music Association's Hall of Fame in 2016 and nominated for a Best Southern Gospel Album Grammy for the record, Let the Redeemed Say So, in 1990. Kelly was also an actress who appeared in the ABC fantasy drama Resurrection and did reenactments for the docu-series Homicide Hunter, Latina and Joe Kenda. So as the management of Ham TV, we send our deepest condolences to the family and friends of the deceased in this difficult time.